Andreas Hall, and I am the Cooperative Sales Coordinator for Serenity Consulting Company. My job is to promote Serenity by posting promotional posts on our social media and hanging flyers that also benefit the overall brand. My personal expertise when it comes to promotion and communication of branding is highly adept. I've had tons of experience working promotion with social medias like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where we have also had to promote items and people. This expertise is important to our clients because it helps promote the idea that our company is credible and will help them reach their goals or tasks. Hello. This restaurant is a dine in service restaurant that has been around for several years, being founded in 1982 in Dallas, Texas. This restaurant serves famous foods like quesadillas, burritos, fajitas, and queso, with its competitors being La Salsa, which also serves all the same food items, but is different because of its lack of margaritas, and Tienda Veracruz, which is also a Mexican restaurant nearby, and Monterey, Mexican Bar and Grill. These are all Mexican restaurants that serve quesadillas, fajitas, burritos, but they're different because of the venues, the way it's pr pronounced, pr where it's seen, where it's promoted. The first strength that is found in this restaurant is the idea that it has good food, good drinks, and margaritas. The review says, wow, wow, and wow, amazing Mexican food, check, amazing frozen margaritas, check, could only be fooled by their $7 lunch special menu, it is more than enough food for you to handle, and also flavorful, by Farina H. This is also a strength that is found in the border restaurant. The, the first strength. Another strength that customers recognize was the idea that they enforced COVID-19 regulations. Since COVID-19 has been like a very impactful thing on our lives, people have tried their best to social distance and try to stay away from other people so they don't get risk of catching the disease. Here's what the review says. It says, I dropped in last week for a bite to eat. First dining experience since COVID-19, they are seating every other table to allow for social distancing. Be prepared to wait a bit for a table during busy hours. Our wait was about 20, 25 minutes, but the service is still good. They have allowed for social distancing while you wait, and they are also turning the tables as quickly as they can without rushing patrons. This was by Christine A. Another strength is the fact that the customers thought that this restaurant stayed true to its Mexican nature and its roots by including familiar spices that is very, 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 very relevant in Mexican foods like paprika, peppers, like all that type of gigs. So this is what the review said. The steak, rancheros, mother and their perfectly prepared homemade salsa along with their refried be refried beans were so small. And there wasn't a hint of nasty chili powder, which real takes makes sense after the border Mexican restaurants will have never been incorporated in any dish. I was incredibly pleased with my delicious dinner and their homemade salsa was quite good. This was by Rebecca C. So she she enjoyed the fact that the food was good and it stayed to its roots. Next, we're gonna go on to the weaknesses. So a weakness that they found was a bit of discrimination while being placed to be seated. So basically this black family saw that they were being seated after a white family, and they was like very, very, very disappointed with that. So the review said, they don't value African-American people's money. We literally waited for 15 to 20 minutes at the door. Three workers looked at us during our span of waiting. A white couple came in and one of the same waiters that walked past us four times almost broke their neck to serve the white couple, dropping menus on the floor. The white company knew that it was not fair. He had the nerve to ask where you here first. My sister was irritated and stormed out. It was by Raven M. So a weakness is, it seemed to be a little bit of discrimination going on there. So if they were to fix that, then that's another positive thing. Next, we're Another weakness is the fact that a customer felt tons of discomfort with her order. The review says, 
I really don't understand how people can consider this good Mexican food. It's horrible. I'd rather have Taco Bell. I've never seen or tasted a chicken quesadilla quite like this. And I've tried it twice to make sure. The chicken is shredded breast meat and soaked in some type of tomatoey sauce. No flavor, by the way. Then placed in the quesadilla and smothered with some cheese sauce. Not even melted cheese. This is by Kendra R. So she was not really pleased with her food item that she received. So, yeah. And then our final weakness is the fact that a customer ran in with a bug. So a customer at the border found a bug sitting next to where she was. So here's what the review says. The food and the service was okay. I sat in the booth by the patio door. As my boyfriend and I were out to celebrate my graduation, our waiter had just left the table and my boyfriend goes, don't freak out, but and I didn't even give him time to finish when I saw a huge cockroach on the wall right next to me. I jumped up abruptly and our waiter came and moved all of our food to another booth, but bit nothing to the cockroach and let it stay in the booth and run around the restaurant. This is made by Vanna S. She was very, very, very disgusted to the fact that there was a cockroach in a place where they're supposed to eat, so they should definitely fix that. Another weakness is the opportunities. So one opportunity is that they should try better seasonings to help with bland food taste. A review says a little bland maybe could have had some mushrooms, but not everything can be out of this world great, which is made by Troy A. Then your next review is this customer recognized that the exterior of the restaurant was not very appealing and a little work could be put into it to make it feel more welcoming. And the review says, this place is far from fancy, so no need to put your best on. It's not that serious. So if this place was to better itself by increasing the food taste and getting better seasonings and trying to up its exterior, then it would help it a lot, bring in a lot more customers. The next issue that was introduced was the fact that there was slow service. So if you were to speed up the service time, it would increase the reviews. Here's what a review says. Food was fine, but the service was ri ridiculously slow and lackluster. Please work on that and I will fear your ratings will be stronger. Coretta F. So she feels that if you were to follow with what she's saying, it would definitely help the customers out and the overall business. by people made by people so an individual said individuals are large parties distance themselves from this restaurant as they seem to feel neglected by the waiters a review says don't come if you have a large party of four because the waiters will neglect you so basically if there's a lot of people at a party at a time the waiters will take a while to seat you and that's not a good thing Next, they introduced the fact that cold food and long wait times threaten the restaurant as people do not want to wait for the order to go wrong. The review says, we were seated for about seven to 10 minutes before our chips and salsa was brought out to the table. I ordered the tacos de carne and ended up sending them back because they were cold. My husband ordered the steak fajita nachos and they were really good. Our waitress was very nice but seemed a bit overwhelmed. This wasn't our first visit, it was probably my last. The food was good, but the service was horrible. It took 45 minutes to get a speedy charge for chips and uh, salsa. And you can't even get a drink refill to go. Not going back here. That was by Marty P. So two different reviews show that they were being ball busted with their food. Finally, our final threat is the fact that people felt as if they was being disrespected by the staff. So basically, an individual said, people also experience snarky and rude comments from the staff that influences their want to attend the restaurant. This is what the review says. Went to this restaurant for lunch, it was treated poorly by the waiter. 
when I order came with something that I don't like on top. When I told him that I couldn't eat the particular condiment, he then says to just try it. I'm like, um, no, I don't like it. He then says, okay, I'll take it back this one time, like I would have sent it back several times or something. He then goes on to say that I should have read the menu, but the description of the meals aren't on the me lunch menu. He brought my food out maybe 10 minutes later. I thought this night remark was uncalled for. The food was good, but the service was very subpar. I won't return due to this rude staff. Candace L. So Candace seemed as if she was not very, very pleased with the fact that a person was being rude to her, which was supposed to be serving her. Finally, here's our SWOT analysis chart. So basically, I listed a few strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that were also found in this PowerPoint. So basically, they were also pinpointed in the PowerPoint. You'll be able to see everything that was listed above on the PowerPoint. Thank you. Finally, here's our... In conclusion, managing restaurant reviews is an extremely important process and should be prioritized because of the effects that it can have on the promotional growth and development of the business. So basically, if you were to promote your business and to review it with positive and negative reviews, it shows that there's growth and there's things that can also be seen to grow the business.